Hey, you're back. Uh, this is the second drops progression. Uh, it's one day later, after the Devil's Toenail one, if you haven't watched it yet. I'm just uh, having a ride in on the skills area where the drop section is. Um, I'm actually going to test out something after this drop that I'm going to work on in a minute. Um, here, as you come around the corner, there's this weird wiggly stone thing. I've always yep. avoided it, but you need um, to actually yeah, go around the I've tackled that one, so next time I won't be worried. Now this is the tenth go. Uh, it looks alright and fast, but now when we look in slow-mo, if you watch in the run-up, it's alright. The body position is fair, and then you'll see just when I get to <laughs> just over the edge, basically everything I achieved the day before is gone. So here the hips are moving back, my bum's going low, I'm getting pulled over the edge and obviously I'm readjusting, but yeah, it's not great. So I'm quite, um, how do you say, annoyed. This is, um, we're now in uh, middle end of August, so I haven't actually watched this for a while. Um, I'm shocked and annoyed. I can't believe that from de one day to the next it can get that bad. So let's have a look at the next couple of goes. So maybe I should have used a harder gear for that, but here we go. It doesn't look too bad. It's definitely not airtime with both tires. And uh, now let's have a look at the slow mo. I probably could be a little bit more forward with the chest. I'm looking where I'm going. The elbows are out, so it's all not too bad from here. This is where we see that actually. It's not great. So just as the front wheel comes over, I'm moving back. I'm way behind the seat. Could you go any further? I don't think you could. So when you compare the fast with the slow, it seems to be working, but here you can really see that the whole thing is basically really ineffective and not sustainable and not transferable. Like if it gets any bigger, I'm probably gonna end up on my ass if I, uh, the obstacle I mean. Um, yeah, so <laughs> keep practicing. So that's the 13th go. Again, doesn't look too bad and fast, but then let's have a look what happens when we get to the edge. It definitely took me a while to regain the organization of my body on the bike from the day before to this practice. So, standing in the right position is not too bad. I'm already starting to move backward. I'm standing up tall, so it is actually like I've started to mix up two techniques here. So again, bum too far back, getting yanked over the edge. It even looks like I'm losing contact with my foot to the pedal and then I'm crouching to try and reorganize myself and not, you know, lose my bike. Uh, thankfully, uh, after this repetition, um, there's another one that's not too bad. Next try. So there you can see that it is actually both wheels in the air at the same time. It's not a step downy droppy thing. It is actually kind of like a takey off thing. Now in the slow mo you'll see that actually, even though it looked fine, it is not fine. So I'm going down, pre-compressing a little bit, and now I'm standing up, and I'm standing up too early. I'm mixing the manual technique with the, um, well, strong position where you just basically go fast enough and you just get the job done. Um, and that's why it's not really transferable. So the theory is that the manual technique works better on drops where you go quite slow. Well, when you've got enough speed, you don't really need to 
um, do the manual technique, you just need to have a strong position and right off the edge, basically. So, and that's obviously a lot easier to do once you've got it. Now, let's see what happens here. I'm trying to go a little bit faster there, I think. Um, it looks quite good in fast. <laughs> and then we'll find out that actually there's plenty of room for improvement. Um, basically crouching and pre-compressing. I'm staying a bit lower for longer. Now I'm standing up. Unfortunately, half of my body's not in here, but you can see that my hips haven't gone back too far at that point. But now, as I'm coming over the edge, you can see I'm back again. And um, thankfully, not too far. Again, you can see that both wheels were off the edge and at a fairly good rhythm, so they didn't come down too um, uneven. So yeah, it's, a, it's not too bad. So at that point, obviously, I got stuff back together a little bit better, and it probably felt quite a lot better to me at the point that point as well. So let's have a look what the next one does. Trying to go a little bit faster here. Still working on the air time. And I think I'm more confident here with um, as the repetitions go. Crouching, trying to be strong, getting the pre-compression done, trying to keep the hips forward. And now I'm standing up a bit, trying to keep the front wheel up. Oh, it's really unfortunate that the body's missing there. Now the front wheel's dipping a little bit too soon. Uh, obviously at that height of obstacle it doesn't really matter too much but then obviously if you needed to land further away from it because it might not be rideable or there's something in the way it wouldn't be a great way to get over it because you might end up landing on something that you don't want to land on. It's acceptable but not transferable enough to make it more versatile for more issues. Oh, I've got low gear there. What's happened? Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't good. That bomb went right back. You can see how inconsistent I am still with my effort. One moment it works kind of okay, the next moment it doesn't. So let's see what actually happened, because even though I could see in the fast that it wasn't that good, no, I'm already seeming... I seem to move back. I could have my face a bit further forward with my chest. Oh, hips are going back. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No way. Way behind the seat. This is awful. What the happened there? Yeah, I hope that wasn't the last one, because if that was the last one and I went home after that, that didn't leave a good um, taste with the practice then, did it? I mean, thankfully, I didn't land on my bottom, but yeah. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Let's keep at it. So you can see I'm basically working on my positioning, my skills in different locations. If you watch Devil's Toenail at Weatherby, where I analyzed what I was up to and I was making fairly good progress and getting a little bit more comfortable... It is um, an up and down when you do this kind of skills practice and one day you have a good day and things go well and then you might have a not so good day and then you have a few steps back and you have to recover um, something that you thought you already had. Um, I have since that June um, continued to practice and uh, what I'm working on is to take different drops in different locations and I will continue to show you what I'm up to and uh, talk you through what I see uh, what I'm happy with and what I'm not happy with and you will see that eventually everything will come together I will promise you see you soon I hope you enjoyed this video stay in touch let me know what you think bye bye